Hello, good day to one and all. This is Ms. A. Krishna Sundar, Assistant Professor, Department of English, KAHM Unity Women's College, Mancheri. Today we would be dealing with knowledge resources on net and we would be specifically discussing online bookstores. As we all know, reading is in fact an ecstasy. Reading books will definitely make you launch yourselves into a different world. That's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. So this is what Jumba Larry says about books and this is very very true because books will transport you to different worlds and I'm sure that there won't be any single person in this world who might not have bought at least one book in their life and there is no age for books. You can read books at any age and this becomes a real companion as you grow old. So, let us discuss something based on online bookstores. With today's technology, anything can be bought virtually. Because during the corona days, as we all know, a lot of things are actually bought online. Rather than the normal system of going to a store and buying things and paying money or currency, we have taken a new step as sitting at home and ordering things online. So same is the very case with books too. And now the question comes, why do people choose to shop from online bookstores? So let us see why people are moving into such a step. When you talk about online bookstores, maybe many of you might have experienced that many books can be downloaded as paperbacks or sometimes as PDF formats. When I am going to talk about my own personal experience, I can tell you that there have been a lot of materials which I have downloaded from Google personally. And they have really helped me a lot. Rather than buying the whole book, sometimes one single essay or one single chapter which you can download from Google will help you a lot. And if you can't find your book in one particular store, you needn't get worried because it would be available in another store. Now that's how online bookstores work. Because sometimes in the case of real physical bookstores, if you get into one particular bookstore and if you can't find the particular book that you are searching for, then you will have to travel a lot to reach the other destination, which is another bookstore. But that is not in the very same way as you can see with online bookstores because with online bookstores it's just one click away and there are many sites which are offering very good books for example student oriented bookstores are there which means you will get the very necessary books which will pertain with the themes that you are searching for. So student-oriented bookstores are there. And there is also another category, maybe you might be familiar with this, like used book sites at a discounted price. Now this is actually second-hand kind of books, which means you will get the access to the books, but those books will be the ones which would have been used by someone else. Now, that is not a great issue because when you want to get a book, it is the book that values the most. It is not the kind of the history that the book has got. So, used book sites which will be coming at a discounted price is again something which is very useful for students. And moreover, customer service is just a click away. If you are buying a book online, if you want to return it, most of the sites will give you an option to return the book. 
unless you tear down the other markers of the book or the tags which will be coming along with the book. So customer service is just a click away and it can be returned. To tell you about my personal experience last month that was in September, Actually, I had bought a couple of things from Amazon. Now, this is not actually books. I had actually ordered certain decorative items which I can place as cake toppers. So, I am very much interested in baking cakes. I love doing that. I'm not a great cook, but I love baking cakes. That's one of my interested areas. So, last September, I had plans to bake a cake because we had a celebration at my home. So... In order to decorate the cake, I ordered certain cake toppers from Amazon. So these cake toppers are actually coming in the format of wafers. Okay, wafers but with written letters like happy birthday to you, have a long life. Those kind of letters are embedded in that. So I ordered this from Amazon and it reached me on time. I should say that. But when I opened the case... I was really shocked to see ants running around. So I was very disappointed, very much disillusioned because this was something which I wanted to use in the very same week. But this was completely spoiled because a number of ants were remaining within the box. So what happened was I connected with the service centers, I connected with the service centers and it was a very good response that I got. They didn't actually ask me anything about the order which I got but instead they sent me a couple of fresh items the very next day itself. So it looked very surprising for me because they have taken a very good effort because sometimes in transit it happens when definitely when you send sweets and all there is a chance that ants might pick it up. So that was a very normal kind of thing and nobody could be blamed for that. But I got it replaced with fresh new things the very next day itself. And the earlier ones which were actually carved by the ants, that was also remaining with me. So this is one good aspect when you talk about online stuff. Because if there is any kind of problem, you can return it and you can get a new replacement. So moving on to the next part, I would like to show you some best bookstores online which are available in India. So the very first one is India bookstores. You can see uh, the screenshot. The next one is sometimes this is something which you might not be very familiar with. This is Notion Press. Now Notion Press is again another bookstore in India which is very famous and they are selling a lot of book items related uh, in the recent current scenario. So again, what are the advantages of online bookstores? And definitely it is a convenience because with online bookstores, you needn't travel to the bookstore, especially during Corona times, these online stuff, they are becoming far and far, as you can say, as more reachable kind of things. So convenience is the very first thing because you needn't travel towards the library or you needn't travel towards the bookstore and there is no opening time and closing time. Now, that's the best part. Because even at 12 at night, you can order a book. Even at 2 a.m. or 3 a.m., you can order your book. There is nothing like uh, closing hours or opening hours. So that is the best kind of option that you get in an online bookstore. And there is more variety. Because when you go to a real physical bookstore, sometimes if you ask them, certain books might not be available. And sometimes if you ask them, they would tell you that it might take another two or three weeks for them to get the book. But you don't have that kind of a problem with online bookstores, as we have mentioned before. If one book is not available in one site, the same book would be available in another site. And less time to reach. Because now online stuff will be reaching you very quickly because even if you order something from New Delhi or Bombay it takes just one or two days for you to get it so less time to search 
and used books where you can save money, which we have already discussed in the previous slide. There are lots of sites where they would be selling these used books. And sometimes if you are having a book with you and if you don't want that book again, you can sell it in some sites. So you get the money and somebody else would be buying the secondhand book. So these are all the different options that online bookstores have got. And finally, there is no storage required. Comparing it with a normal bookstore, you need a specific place to keep the books. But there is nothing of that sort with an online bookstore and therefore it is more cheap. And the best thing is that you can read the reviews given by other customers and these reviews can definitely help. I used to do that. I am a great fan of Chetan Bhagat. So whenever Chetan Bhagat's books are actually going to be released, I go through the reviews of other people who have already bought the book. So definitely those reviews will give you an idea whether you should buy the book or not. So these reviews can definitely help you. And... When you talk about ebooks, ebooks will get into your device straight away. If you have a Kindle version, if you are downloading the Kindle version, and if you are going to buy a Kindle version of a book, the moment you pay the money, the book automatically gets saved into your Kindle version. So, see, there is no time factor coming here because the moment you buy, the moment you pay the amount, the book automatically comes to your Kindle version, which means that is a book which you can read only on an online platform. You won't get the kind of essence as you can hold a book in your hands. So these are some of the advantages with online bookstores. So I would like to take you to my online bookstore. So this is my Kindle place where I have bought a number of books. I am showing just a few of them. So you can see different varieties of books that I have bought in Kindle version. Now these books, they don't have a physical existence, but I can use them whenever I want because it is saved in my Kindle version in my laptop. So I can go there and read these books again and again. So this is really very beneficial because suppose you want to read something today itself. You can buy it in a Kindle version. It comes automatically to your Kindle device and you can start reading it right now. So time factor is actually blurred when you talk about the advantages of online bookstores. But there are certain disadvantages too because instant gratification is not always possible. For example, if you're planning to buy a book for your friend's birthday, imagine your friend's birthday is coming, okay, maybe two days later. Okay, after two days, it is your friend's birthday. If you are planning to buy a book as a gift online, you can't be very certain or sure whether the book might reach you within these two days. So sometimes it might reach only after four or five days and the birthday would be over by then. So this kind of an instant gratification is not possible with online bookstores. And for some people, browsing the book, getting the real touch is very important. Because some people really love the physical entity of the book. I have heard a lot of my friends telling me that they love the smell of the new book. Getting a new book in their hands is like getting a new toy in the eyes of a small baby. So for some people, it is just like that. For me, it is different. I normally prefer online books because I prefer things which come on time because I prefer saving time. So, but this is not actually the case with all people. I have a lot of friend, friends who are actually interested in getting the physical touch, the real touch. So this is not actually happening with online bookstores. You can't really touch the book as I've uh, given you uh, the slide beforehand which gives you the picture of the books that I have bought but they don't actually have a physical entity because they have to be seen only through online pages. I cannot hold them, I cannot smell them. So that difference is always there. And the third and most important thing is that possible damages can be there. If you buy a book online, sometimes you get with pages torn 
or sometimes there would be some pages missing so these are things which are happening during the printing stage so maybe sometimes even those who are selling this might not have recognized this so this possible damages can happen but there is no need to worry because you can return the item and you will get a replacement but suppose if you're going to gift this to somebody else the very next day this would become a real problem so these are some of the disadvantages with online bookstores now, some of the popular online bookstores, now see, this is not just for the exam point of view, even otherwise, even after completing your exams, these are the names which you should keep in your memory for the later stages, because once when you get into your PG course or sometimes for your higher studies, these online bookstores will come to your aid, even at that stage. So some of the best popular online bookstores can be Amazon as you all know there is Flipkart again there is Barnes and Noble Bookfinder Indigo Books half price books so that definitely will be talking about discounted books or second hand books used book central that's again second hand books New York Times book review now, from now on, you can see a couple of uh, online bookstores from India like Vedam's Books International, Indian Book Center, Go Book Shopping, etc. Again, so there are so many sites based on this. So I have just named a few from your textbook. So you have to go through your textbook thoroughly to get the entire details. Now, I'm telling you again, this is not just for the sake of examination because you have to remember these names even for posterity, even for your future use so that's all with online bookstores it would be better if you read your text after listening to this lecture so thank you very much for your patient listening thank you one and all if you have got any suggestions or queries you can mail me or you can actually go through the blog which i have got if you have any comments you can respond either in the mail or in the blog so thank you thanks a lot for your patient listening thank you very much